Relations. So welcome out everybody uh, that's joining us for this um, call tonight on the topic tonight, Maintaining Peace. Um, the host, Dave Baldwin, I'm um, gonna run through um, how we can maintain inner peace um, using natural solutions, especially essential oils and everything. So fantastic. Um, so without further ado, I'll turn the time over to Dave. Okay, guys. This is something that I need right now, <laughs> and it's perfect. It was on the list. I don't know. I think it's like every time I put something on the list, I experience it first, and then I can share it with people. I am. I'm not tired. I just uh, had a nice crying session this morning. <laughs> so my eyes are puffy. Um, but yeah, I, this. I guess I'm right into this right now because uh, this is what this topic is about. So, you know, life can get very challenging before you know it. And then <laughs> you've got this pressure and you're thinking, how can I still find happiness and peace? Um, so I wish that we could, you know, all slide down a little bit, right? We've got so much happening um, and you, can, you, you can't just work like three hours a day, <laughs> like my ancestors, go out and plant some rice and come back in and take a, a nap and that's the end of the day, <laughs> the working day anyways. <laughs> and um, yeah, but it's, yeah, we can't change our environment. So what we need to do is find this inner peace. Um, and as I work with a lot of people, I just find that there's a few things that I think I would like to share with them. And um, the first thing here is, um, you know, working on the gut. Okay. So I had so many people that you, when you talk to them, they say, oh, too much, overwhelmed already. <laughs> and you're thinking, I just have two things. <laughs> right, and um, what we want to do is just to help them figure out this, this gut problem. Um, so first of all, just know that the gut holds a lot of feelings like discouragement, grief, confusion, worried. Okay, when our brain is thinking and doing all of that, um, the gut just suddenly freezes for a bit and says, hey, okay, just, just pause here and let's work out what's in there. And our brain, we, we try to squeeze out so much out of this, um, the 3% of our brain that's logical. Okay, so we have other things in our body that gives us a lot more information, um, but we haven't been encouraged or taught to recognize our heart <coughs> and our gut and so, um, you know, that this, this heart and this gut is completely ignored while we just focus on this logical brain. And when we don't have all of the information, our brain just keeps on going round and round in circles and it, and it winds itself up so tightly that we get so stressed and, and this problem keeps on perpetuating, okay, and it's just spirals. Alrighty. So have you met people that... You know, you tell them a couple of things and they just get overwhelmed so quickly, right? And you're thinking, okay, <laughs> I have to write this down for you and I have to check back to make sure you understand. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So All right, because, thank you. Bye. Because their, their gut um, has just an overgrowth of fungus, bacteria and other parasites that's in there because it's stopped working fully <clears throat> okay our gut has a lot of neurotransmitters which are brain chemicals to help with cellular communications um, and so when it's uh, when the neurotransmitters are you know affected then of course you know any little thing that we add to our plate um, we have such a hard time um, figuring it out and um, you know, digesting it and understanding it. Okay, anyone with questions or comments so far? Do you, you have, have you had that experience? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we call that brain fog too. But mm -hmm. the thing is, um, it's sort of like these microscopic fungus that's um, hijacked the whole body and our brain too. So your, your, your tummy, if you've heard of people saying, um, I, I got a gut feeling about something, right? That's the, that's 
the person saying, hey, my, my, my gut is telling me something. Okay, that's the, the gut brain. Alrighty. So what we need to do, well, you tell us, what do we need to do to help take care of the gut? Just uh, unmute yourself. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> wait, wait, Marissa, did you say something? Oops, I was saying to do the 30 day cleanse. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay, absolutely. We, we start with cleansing our gut. But you know, we could continue to cleanse and cleanse till the cows come home. We really have to focus on what is causing the problem in the first place to make us have to cleanse so much. Okay, I have a friend that takes like the GXSS every day for years and years, for the last six years or so since we've been in doTERRA. <laughs> but it's like, Try it then. <laughs> now you gotta really look at what's causing it in the first place. So you don't have to be maintaining it and um, symptom managing, but you just know that it's, it's a good place to start. Okay. Just taking care of that. Cut. Earlier in the call before we talked about using um, lime. So after you go through the 30 day cleanse the one time, then do lime with your 30 day cleanse just to get rid of old stuff that's stuck there. And it's not going to shift until, you know, you, you send in some big guys, some old wise line, okay? So that's what I would do. So the next thing, because, you know, maybe taking care of the gut, cleansing the gut, that's just the first layer. The next thing we wanna do is look at the heart chakra, <clears throat> okay? So when people talk about chakras, sometimes they're like, oh, it's kind of weird. Um, it's, you know, think of it as just energy, just energy around your heart area. Um, I don't know about you, but sometimes when I'm near people, I can feel their heart. I can sense their heart and I can sense how big their heart is. It's just that heart energy that just out there. And even if I am not near them, sometimes I feel them. I just sense my friend and I think, mm, I got to text her, see if she's okay. You know, something like that. And I'm all sending so much love to you because you can. <laughs> the heart chakra, the heart can. Um, but when we allow our heart to be gunked up and junked up with all the negative emotions, it's like suppressing that heart and pushing it down, pushing it in, so that it's not able to do that. It's not able to connect to people. Uh, and so people ask me all the time, "How did you? How do you know this stuff? That's kind of weird. How do you know that I needed that oil? Um, but you're spot on. But how did you know? And it's because you know I've had to clear layers and layers of my heart um, to to be able to fully experience it. You know we're afraid that our hearts might break. You know that's why sometimes we we do what we do. Um, but I can tell you that our heart is going to be fine. It can mend. And you know what? It, in the scriptures it says come into Christ with a broken heart and a contrite spirit. Things like that. You're, you're okay because your heart needs to feel the sadness in order to fully enjoy and experience and appreciate the good stuff. So sometimes if I feel very sad, I allow myself to, to just grieve it and then release it. Um, you know, don't get into the habit of sitting there in your grief too long. You need to shift it out. Okay. So today I, I drank, I mean, I, I drank elevation <laughs> and lime. <laughs> yeah. So I got kind of sad and then, you know, scared my husband. And um, then I kind of started drinking that and then I felt sleepy. <laughs> and normally I don't just take a break and do nothing, but I did. So that was awesome. So your, remember your gut and your, your heart are the other brains. You have your brain brain and you have your heart brain and then you have your gut brain. And if you honor what your heart's telling you and you honor what your gut's telling you, then you're gonna have a lot of information, a lot more information um, than just your brain brain, your logical brain's trying to think, but it only, only gets just this much information and it's trying to work on that and feel good and confident with the limited understanding. But here we have this other thing too. So sometimes I tell people, check your heart. Does your heart feel right? Check your gut. Hold the oil to your gut. Does it feel good to you? 
okay then use it that's the one for you you know and you don't have to understand all the science or whatever it is behind it all just use it and i promise it's the one that you need because your body is just telling you okay and we're we're here on earth to experience fullness of joy and we can't have a fullness of joy without experiencing it with the body okay it's very important all right so somehow we have to help connect the mind the body and the heart and the call before we talked about lime so you know here we are we've got a whole list of oils and i'll go through each one um, and we'll go to lime too okay can 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 we share this here Okay, what we're looking at this, this is just uh, jadebalden.com slash peace. Okay, so we're just going to open up that heart. One of the first things I do when I go to classes um, is to give people, and all of them sitting there and um, they're waiting for the class to start, I would give them um, breathe or eucalyptus because they're, they're nice oils to share. And I'll say, hey, what do you think about this? Smell this, do you like it? And then I do that with my arms, you know, the spreading your arms out, just like that lady in that picture. And what it does is it opens people's heart up to learning and to receiving the love that I have to give to them. And they don't know, they just copy me when I say, oh, do this. Oh, so nice, isn't it? Do this. <laughs> and they're like, okay, I'll do this. And you see people, you know, arms folded and legs folded you know because they're they're guarded they're like well what are you going to sell me today what candle what you know perfume or what are we doing today and um when i do this it's sort of like you're okay you're safe open up uh, open up to me okay so that's exactly what we're trying to do here okay so if we um help take care of the emotional and the spiritual side our physical problems like our gut problems will you know be you know, much better. We'll find that uh, it'll start to resolve itself. All right, so let's go with eucalyptus. Okay, so eucalyptus reminds you that you're healthy. Who here knows people that love their disease? <laughs> yeah, you're thinking, what? Yeah, let, let's unmute and, and talk about this for a second. No. <laughs> you know, you just, you know, people that love their disease? <laughs> Nobody. I'm in healthcare. Nobody um, loves their disease. Let me tell you, you'll be surprised. Yeah. They, I think sometimes they think they don't, but be, they give it so much focus, focus, focus. Yes. All they can do is talk about yeah. it. That's all that they experience and live. And subconsciously, they're hanging on to that. That's right. Yes. That's right. right. Yep, Peaches? Yes. I'm waving. I, I invited uh, Jenny. Oh, okay. and So I'm waving. Oh, well. Welcome, Jenny. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yes. um, I think that some people hold on to their illnesses and their diseases because they get attention from it. And if they don't have that attention, they're worried about, well, how else am I going to get somebody's attention? How else are they going to notice me if I don't have something wrong with me? Mm -hmm. That's a good that. point. Yeah. You yeah. See that? They're getting that, that nurturing that. from other people too. They're yeah. getting more nurturing, nurtured because people feel bad for them and what they're going through. So they get that support from other people. So do you hear them say, well, I have, and then they say the fancy name for the disease. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As if it's cute. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. And, this, and then I have this stage of this problem. <laughs> you're thinking okay yeah <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> let go of that and if you're not willing to let go of that then you know it's sort of like holding it to your heart and making mm. sure that you you remember to be sick okay, so that I fully let go and say i'm going to be well so eucalyptus opens your heart to saying look i can enjoy life i can be well Okay, I can get love and attention elsewhere in other things that I do instead of being this special person because something's wrong with me, I'm broken, everybody feels sorry for me. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And sometimes you're thinking, didn't you do this? I told you to do this and this and this. Yeah. <laughs> right? Probably the same thing with the poverty mentality. Sometimes uh -huh. people are just stuck in that rut. That's rock. right. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I've heard of that too. Lots of people tell me things um, like the same. All right, geranium. Who mm here -hmm. likes geranium? Yay, good, peaches. <laughs> Who else likes geranium? I just like the way it smells. <laughs> oh, good, yes. Anybody had to learn to like it. Oh. I learned a lot while I was pregnant both times. <laughs> but every Gordon's the same way. She had to learn to love it. Okay. Yeah. Anybody else? Geranium? A little bit. Yeah? Okay, so geranium is the oil of love and trust. So it reminds us to trust yourself, trust your instincts, and to trust God. Um, not lean on your understanding so much okay so this heart is going to be holding <clears throat> you're going to hold on to that heart and protect it and guard it because you think i'm not going to be hurt again i'm not going to be disappointed again mm -hmm. all right but geranium says trust and you know what even if you're hurt you're going to be fine and that's kind of hard for most of us so the mm -hmm. smell of geranium if it smells good to you then you you should Give yourself a pat on the back. <laughs> I mean, you're well on your way to having more faith, more trust. Okay. And so when I first smelt it, it was like, ooh, strong, be strong. <laughs> and then slowly it's like, oh, I really need this. <laughs> yep. So it just teaches you that lesson, right? Mm -hmm. okay. so if we give children geranium, um, it helps them keep their hearts open. Uh, because sometimes kids up to the age of nine, they can't differentiate whether the thing they're doing wrong is wrong and whether, you know, it's themselves. If they can't distinguish it. So if they've done something wrong, they think, uh, oh, that's, that's bad and I'm bad. Right? Instead of, oh, the thing I did was bad, you know, but I'm not a bad person. Okay, so up to the age of nine. So you want to rub that and help them use that as often as you can just to keep that heart open. Because over the years, people start to put up walls over their hearts. Have you met people that, you know, you think, you can't really get through to them. <laughs> you know, they're friendly on the outside, but you can't just open up and, and talk heart to heart with people, with certain people. Have you seen people with walls? Yeah? And it's like really hard to get to know them because they're hiding behind something. Yep. Alrighty. So we have lime, um, and that was one of our calls. Uh, that was our call earlier. Um, so lime clears away the junk that's that's in the way. The spiritual junk, the physical junk that's in the way of helping you find that happiness, you know, and even in the midst of the chaos, it uplifts your heart. You know, and it just says. You know, throw some salsa into your life. We're going to go full on. Okay, so add that to water and uh, drink it daily. All righty. There There's a Wikipedia article about chaos theory. Would you like me to read it to you? Theory wants to participate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyone with questions or comments about Lyme? Yeah? Okay, let's go to Marjoram. We had a call on marjoram a couple of weeks back. Um, marjoram reminds you that you're safe. That you're safe to trust again, throw away that distrust, and you're safe to create a deep connection with others. If you had a problem trying to make new friends and then feeling like, well, I don't want to jump into this because last time I made a good friend, she hurt my feelings, <laughs> right? So this here says, it's okay, have a go. You'll be okay. So marjoram is just that wonderful oil that says, you know, you'll be okay because remember the depth of your sorrow will be the height of your joy. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyone have questions or comments? Mm. No? All good? All righty. Mm. Guys, you're welcome to ask questions and stop me because I would like your feedback. Okay. Um, and peppermint. Peppermint perks your heart up. Did you skip Melaleuca? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Melaleuca was the last week's call. And mm -hmm. Melaleuca is about, you know, healthy boundaries. For people that um, are afraid of other people letting them down, they, they don't respect themselves, so they don't respect other people. So they think other people are going to take 
um, their energy being a vampire, but then, you know, turn around, they don't realize that they're the vampire too, to other people. Um, so this here helps set healthy boundaries for your heart, telling your heart, it's going to be okay. Your heart's going to be okay. You will know when, when, you know, we're, we're not, um, you know, we're being abusive. Okay. So we, we serve, serve, serve to a point where it's healthy, but then if we continue to over-serve, it's in it's self-abuse. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Okay, next oil is peppermint. <coughs> so peppermint is one of those oils that hook your heart up and says, I'll give you a boost. Um, so of course, it's like saying you're allowed to have air. You're allowed to breathe the air of life. Okay, so I had a, um, an experience with this. It was very special. Um, there was a gentleman that he had the biggest smile in the world. I just, you know, met him and he's always, he's just seemed happy the whole day. And we were chatting and he said, Hey, Jade, can I, can you just suggest some oils for me? And I said, um, for you, peppermint. And he smelt and he's like, Oh, it's amazing. Wow. I'm in love. And I thought, Whoa, okay. <laughs> Whoa, that's cool. I like that. And, um, I said, I'll oh, go ahead and look at the peppermint oil in the emotion book and tell me what um what's happening because the peppermint is the oil of the buoyant heart and he looked at me with these big eyes and he said jay my wife just left me and my heart has been so heavy right and i thought oh that's why he was like ah this world's amazing mm. so it was just mm. such a sweet moment for him because it's like okay i can I can do this. I, I won't let it sink too much. Okay, so that's an awesome oil. Who here likes peppermint? <laughs> Who doesn't, right? I uh, don't know. I do have a couple of friends that don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I threatened to give her peppermint. <laughs> mm -hmm. All righty. So rose. Guys, have you experienced rose before? It's, it's not an oil that everybody has. Mm -hmm. But you've experienced the... Rose oil lotion, haven't you? Yes, I am. Um, uh, I got a, a gift, a little nice, a small, sizable bottle. It wasn't from doTERRA, it was from another uh company. And I love the smell of rose, it's was um, really a nice experience. I, I don't use you don't need much of it, it's like just a little dab, it's very powerful, mm -hmm. very, very strong, and it's very expensive too. <laughs> Yeah. But it's a nice, it has, a, it's a real refreshing smell. I like it. It's difficult to um, produce, so. Mm hmm Awesome. I love what she said, though. Just, you only need a little bit, and it's so powerful. And isn't that how Heavenly Father's love is? It's, you only, it's like. I'm just, yes. <laughs> so powerful, you know? Like, you can just feel a little bit and be, like, filled. Yeah. yeah. That's it. It's so beautiful. It's soft. I feel like it's soft, um, cuddly <laughs> oil. I tried to order it, but I don't think it was available at the time. You, you, you can't, can't order buy it. it. You haven't been able to buy it for a long time. You can yeah. read it. Actually, there's a promotion that Last I month. Yeah, just, just finished up. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, every once in a while, almost every year, they have a promotion mm -hmm. where when you share essential oils with other people, you can yep, win, the rose, win oil. Uh, the rose oil. And that's the only way. Yeah, we've been able so to get it. We've got a couple, but and it's amazing. But, but you can get it in the lotion, the, the lotion. healing hands lotion. So if yeah. you need that rose for something, it's in there. It's also in um, it's in the one of the blends. Immortel. Immortel, yeah. Immortel has all the expensive oils. Mm -hmm. Yep. But I tell you, rose reminds you that your heart is you're loved. That you can open up and receive God's love. Now, a very special experience with this gentleman. He worked all his life. He worked extra hard. And um, I was working with him and I said, smell this rose oil. And he said, he can't smell it. And his wife's like, I'm sitting over here. I can smell it. It's so yummy. And he's like, I can't smell it. And I said, let's dump some out into your hand and smell it. And he's like, it's very, I don't know, very mild. I can't smell it. And I said to him, um, do you have a hard time feeling Heavenly Father's love? And he was like, yes. 
because I have to earn it. You know, and I thought, oh, and I said, well, what's Rose telling you? And, you know, we discussed this and he was like, I don't know. It's and you're not used to, not used to just being given, given this abundant love from Heavenly Father, from God. And he felt like he had to earn everything all his life. And so when it came to God, he felt like, you know, he had to earn God's love too. You know, keep all the commandments and do all these right things. And, you know, so we worked on that a while. And, you know, after about 10, 15 minutes, he smelt it again. And he's like, I can smell it now. I can smell it now. And his wife was just bawling next to him thinking, yay. And then it was awesome because after a few weeks, she came up to me and she says, Jay, I have a new husband. He's so sweet and tender. You know, yay. And I thought, oh, because he's wow his life, working hard, you know, doing the extra mile, doing everything because he doesn't feel like he deserves this love and you shut up your heart and you close up your heart because you feel like, no, you know, don't, don't worry about me. <laughs> I don't know what. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. yeah it's so powerful. And um, just physically, the rose oil, it, it goes into our brains and it just does a lot of amazing things in there that, um, you know, it's nothing that, you know, that is, uh, you know, I think it's just miraculous. So even Dr. Hill said, he, he said that was the closest thing to miracle, you know, that he's seen. We're just helping this one lady with um, the rose oil because she had a, a stroke and half her face was just droopy. And he said uh, he gave her one drop of rose and she, the, that side of the face lifted up. And he said it looked like a smile. And he said it was right in front of his eyes. And he said that was amazing. Um, mm. Yeah. So it just kind of helped her for a good five, ten minutes there. And I thought, wow. <laughs> you know, I know what it does emotionally, but that's awesome physically too. Okay. So that's Rose. And Rose helps the heart open up and feel that love that God wants to throw at you and just feeling abundantly taken care of. Because you just, you deserve it simply because you're God's, you know, you're God's child. It doesn't mean you have to do anything to deserve it. Alrighty. And we have time. Time is in a hot oil, guys. So you don't want to be rubbing all over your face. <laughs> you can mm -hmm. smell it. Um, but it reminds you to release hate and bitterness and adopt a forgiving heart. Ooh. Okay, so this here will help that heart chakra. I would put it on the bottom of our feet. Um, and it helps remind you that you can be tolerant and understanding of other people. You know, we hold on to how we feel because so-and-so wronged us. You know, you know, if they change, then I will change. But instead, time says, just let it go. It's time to let it go. <laughs> um, and uh, I, I tell people all the time that when our... our our ego holds on to something. <clears throat> it, it stands for ego stands for edging God out. It's sort of you know not allowing God in. <clears throat> okay. Mm -hmm. And time is one of those oils in the G exorcist. Isn't that interesting? It's uh, pushing out that yucky germs and you know all of the um, invaders in our gut. Okay, so a couple more oils, oh, three, four more. Okay, <clears throat> we have ylang ylang. <coughs> Excuse me. Ylang ylang. Who likes ylang ylang? Okay, yay. I don't know. Okay. Debbie, Debbie. I like it. Yep. How do you guys use it? I just like to smell it, but I also put it on. Mm hmm. Uh, I have an interesting story about Ylang Ylang. I have a friend who was having um, digestive problems like diarrhea um, and some other things. And I was muscle testing for her and Ylang Ylang came up. I thought, what? That is so strange. I looked it up in Modern Essentials. Sure enough, there was Ylang Ylang. I was like, that is, it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yep. Alrighty. So I'll share with you um, what I know about Ylang Ylang. It 
reminds you to be that carefree child again. If you are so used to being the mum, the you know, caregiver, you know, the adult, and you're taking care of everyone and everything, um, it just reminds you that you're allowed to be a child too. You're, like, you're allowed to let go of everything and just not, um, you don't need to worry about all of it. So hand over all of these responsibilities. There's times that you can do that. You know, um, I've learned some nights I'm just like, you know what, too much to do. I'm just going to lay it all on the altar and then just going to go to bed. Or, yeah, I really want to play. I really want to just do this thing. It's kind of fun. But then it's not, it's not sensible. It's, you know, it's just silly, but it, it's fun. And um, I think, why not? Just why not, right? And so this oil reminds you, hey, you know, let the angels take care of you. Let the angels help you too. Um, when I asked a lot of women about play, I said, what do you do for fun? You know, some of the things they, they tell me, it's so funny because I'm like, that still work and that still work. And, you know, I'm like, I can't think of anything that's fun <laughs> because we haven't really let ourselves play, right? Yeah. So I, my friend Marissa here, <laughs> I'm going to pick on you. Um, you know, she just, she did a cross stitch, you know, and there's like, just for fun, just for really, you know, for herself. Social bowling league, people. Bowling. <laughs> I haven't done that since like 10. It was awesome. Yeah. I had so much yeah. fun. <laughs> yeah, now you go to bowling. Yeah. It's, uh, it's also in the love potion. Mm -hmm. um, so, it, you know. For playfulness. Mm -hmm. So allowing that heart to just have fun again. And, and I found that um, when I worked with Ylang Ylang, I kind of laugh at myself because I went back to when was it the original time that I really needed that. And it was two, two years old. And I remember, you know, I'm thinking, why two? And I thought, oh, that was the time that I left Vietnam, that I had to be a mature kid. I mean, imagine if I was laughing and jumping and playing and giggling, you know, I'll give everybody away and everybody will be, you know, killed in the boat. So, you know, I had to be quiet and I thought, okay, I'll be quiet. I'll do everything I need to do. And then in the refugee camp, my mum was very distressed. You know, I had to be the one that says, mum, we're okay. We're going to go see dad. And so, you know, I was the adult at that time. And um, so, you know, sometimes you go back in time and your heart says, I wasn't able to be a fun kid. <laughs> I didn't just be carefree and just have no responsibilities. Okay, so that's what Ylang Ylang does. It says, open your heart. You're allowed to be, you know, free and, you know, not burdened by all that responsibility all the time. Alrighty, and that helps mums. I had one lady here recently. She said, oh, when I come home from work, it's late and everybody is just waiting for me to put dinner on the table. And, you know, I get so stressed and at the end of that, I didn't ever want to eat dinner because I was just so tired. And I said, well, use your langy lang and then delegate. <laughs> and she, she texted me a couple of days later. She said, oh, Jade, my husband made dinner tonight. <laughs> yeah, so just to let other people serve you and other people be the adult. So that's kind of good. All right, Serenity Blend. We all like that one, right? It's very simple. It helps our heart feel tranquil, calm and peace. That's easy. Um, and let go of the agitation. Uh, we have Elevation. Same thing, it lifts up your heart and it, you know, asks you to let go of the dark and, and receive more joy. And all of these oils, you're smelling it, guys. And the last one is breathe. Okay. I think Kayla, can I pick on you? <laughs> yeah, Kayla, one of her first loves was uh, breathe, right? Yeah. So, um, do you want to... A lot of people love that. Yeah. Do you want to... That's right. Yeah, you want to share a little bit why we had that breathe? Sure. Um, I lived in Ohio and had a lot of respiratory issues, really stuffy nose all the time, couldn't breathe. It was hard to sing and, and stuff without that causing problems. So um, I breathe was the first oil I used every day and I could breathe it was amazing <laughs> it was it was wonderful so, so we what did we discover the respiratory problem to be 
Uh, well, um, it was all connected to my desire to come home from work. Yeah, I'm able to have that breathe the full breath yeah, of life, fullness of life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. So that you can see how your heart says, "I can't sing. I can't. Mm -hmm. mm, mm, come on." And that breath says, "Hey, you can. You can." Okay, and eventually we yeah. did it, right? Right. We did. Oh, no. okay. <laughs> so that's awesome. Okay, guys. Um, well, and you know, as you as you start looking at um, the root, the emotions with all those different oils, you don't have to do them all. Everyone is different, so just pick um, a few of them to work with. But at, it will kind of help you get to the root of your problems. And I can tell you now, what you do with it is connect back to God. So the, I just want to show you here. So say we have neck problems, okay, and there's some emotions that we could use the oils for to help um, release those yucky negative emotions. But the stem of it is, you know, feeling like you can't do stuff. And when you can't do stuff, it's because you're not connected to the source of power and knowledge and intelligence and light. And that's the disconnection to God. So the really easy solution is connect back to God. You know, please help me do this, right? And that's the this solution it's super easy okay anyone want to comment on that yeah does that make sense yep everybody's muted <laughs> oh, okay you have to unmute yourself and, and i can't see everyone either so you have to kind of you know unmute yourself yep okay okay all righty so the last thing we want to do um you know, you can start healing, clearing information and, and emotions. I mean, uh, you need to write down what you're experiencing. So you can help that along. You can help that, um, that process along. So we had a conversation earlier with um, uh, white fur, right? White fur on the neck and it was great for the shoulders. Um, but when you, uh, you journal and you write down, um, why is it that this oil is helping me? you're really conscious of certain things. Um, so I spend Sundays um, writing my journal. It takes um, half an hour or so, maybe an hour some days. And I just write about things. And then you find, hey, there's a, there's a chain, there's a pattern in my family that I'm going to break. This is, you know, this is not healthy. Or oh, oh, that's not healthy. Ooh, ooh. You know, and then when you start writing, you're making all these connections and realisation that, you know, there's all these, this one negative emotion that I think I really need to resolve. Okay, why don't I like this wild orange oil? Or why don't I like this lime? And then you can just work on that. So, um, you know, the, the time that you journal and the time that you meditate is, is that um, just solidifying time to, to really get to that junk out. Yes, you might use these oils for these emotional problems, um, but you want to fully, you know, be conscious of, of that and move that energy out because we're powerful beings. Um, so you can look at this here, um, you know, a lot of our physical problems is just a physical manifestation of, a, you know, negative emotions and the negative emotion comes from feeling like you can't, okay, you're not strong enough um, and the reason why we're not strong enough is because we don't realise that we need to stay connected to God and, um, you know, having faith, okay. So, um, we all go through this and um, it's just a good reminder every time it's like, oh no, what's that pain? What's this? Oh, okay, you have to see why. Um, so let's, see. let's go to um, see shoulders, neck and shoulders. So, oh no, it's a typical one is the leg problem that I've been um, receiving lately with my friends. Um, <clears throat> so just unable to understand, feeling intolerant, feeling paralyzed, fearing uh, of the f fearing of moving forward to in the future, um, you know, uh, afraid to go forward, afraid to um, change. And um, you think, oh, why am I afraid? And then you look at this and you say, oh, okay, this is why. It's just my disconnection to God. And um, you really, if you just work on connection to God, it's sort of like uh, sunshine and um, turning on the light switch and it helps with everything else. 
okay? So all the other little problems actually goes away too. So here's the resolution. I don't know if you can see it there. It might be small on your screen. Okay, maybe Ben can do some magic. <sighs> Make it bigger. Okay. There we are. I'm good at magic. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So here is just faith and connection to God. And then suddenly, you know, we, we have eyes to see, ears to hear. And then you have that peace. You have that inner peace because you, you're strong. Your heart is removing all the, of the yucky junk that's holding it back from fully experiencing that love. Because really, we're practicing to be like God and God is love. And if we're unable to fully love, we're not able to have that peace that we, we're looking for. Okay. So anyone with comments or questions you want to chat now? Let's unmute. Okay. Is that on your website, that diagram? Jbalden slash, jbalden.com slash peace, mm -hmm. or just mm -hmm. look up peace. It's actually the first post on the main page. Yeah, because I... Um, I was thinking of, because uh, I, I work with people, um, you know, clearing their energy and helping them out, helping them figure things out. And, you know, I just kept thinking, you know, every time I'm helping them, I'm reminding them to go back to God. Eventually, <clears throat> you know, oh, it's this emotion. Why do we have this negative emotion? Because it's fear. And why do we have this fear? It's because we don't have faith. And faith means connecting to God and fear means disconnected to God. And so I woke up one morning and I had that tree in my mind and then I had an, you know, another tree and then another tree. And I'm like looking at it and thinking, wait, all of it goes back to the same thing. So it's sort of this wheel <laughs> became this flower wheel. I don't know. That was good. No, that's yeah. going to make sense. <laughs> it, 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 do you feel like it's not that difficult now? So I think, the medical world sometimes, you know, with lots of respect to all the, the intelligence and the things that they they have, but sometimes we make it so complicated. Like I said, I have this disease, I have this and this problem too, and it's like, how did you get that in the first place? <laughs> Where did it come from? No, 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 I'm broken. No, no, there's something more than that. Just, I don't know if it's the the process is difficult. I guess it's just. The individual. Uh, sometimes you look at it and it's like, how do I get from here to there? <laughs> and like you said, basically, you connect back to God, you know, the source of your strength. Because sometimes you just don't know, you know, what you're dealing with all of those feelings that are buried and stuff like that, and how to forgive people or how to let go of things you can't control. It, it can be difficult because we've been living in these patterns for years and to just all of a sudden break it and think you're going to go, go and, you know, ride off and, you know, be courageous like that. It's, yeah. and you're not you meant know, to. hit bumps in the road. Yeah, you're not meant mm -hmm. to. That's why we do meditation. That's why we journal because we, we just peel one thing at a time. What's the most important thing right now? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if it's my sinus problems, what's my sinus problem telling me? Right, and then it's like, oh, I'm all good now, but hey, what happened here? My shoulders are hurting, <laughs> mm -hmm. and then it's chasing that dragon around. And eventually, mm -hmm. I just feel like, you know, I'm a ton better than I used to be. And you get to the point where you're actually able to honor yourself and live the way you really want to live, and mm -hmm. it's liberating, very liberating. So, I, I know Stacy, since I've met her, what five months, six months ago, and life has changed for her. You know, I feel like things are, you know, you're more relaxed and happy, you know, and you were awesome and happy when we started talking, but it's like, now it's like, oh, you know, a lot of peace. And Kayla was mentioning things like, you know, her shoulders, right? Yeah. Anyone else you want to share? How to just um, find peace, but you don't have to find peace exactly here and now, but it's gradual. It's peeling the layers off. Yeah, I'm definitely not. Not as far as I'd like to be. <laughs> but you have. Share your story, Marissa. That's awesome, if you, if you don't mind. Um, sure. I mean, it's, I, I don't want to say anything negative. It's hard not to <laughs> sometimes. Uh, um, 
I, I, Jay did a session with me and I've been using the, the white fur and the juniper berry oils and they've been really amazing in helping me to let go of some things and open up in other ways. But I still feel like I'm kind of like my own worst enemy that I'm the only one really standing in my way and I know I need to use the oils and work through it. Um, I, I feel like I have a very long journey, but I'm ready to go. <laughs> Do you feel like you've come, you know, quite uh, a few steps forward? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I just, I'm oftentimes daunted by the amount of work still to do. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, it's, it's amazing the changes I've seen in, in just a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. Wow. And, Jade, I think it's important to focus on those victories and find joy in those along the journey. Yeah. because that will build more joy and more joy and more joy but if we if we're waiting for joy to happen after everything's fixed it it won't happen after everything's fixed and it won't be fixed so <laughs> we can experience joy amid our trials mm -hmm. all along the journey you know and that's that's what we're striving to do is finding that happiness right now yeah. Yeah. Spike sense. Nard for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my one, yep, go ahead. Oh, one thing that helped too, um, as a mom, I remember I mean, we had all that stuff happen and we were going counseling and different things, but then we moved here and different things were happening again. And but the one thing that you told me was um that as a mom, you want your kids to be happy, but you're not responsible for their happiness. And that took a whole like load off of me. And at the same time, both my, my son and my daughter, each of their counselors that same week said the same thing to me is, you know, they're getting better, but you're not responsible for making them happy. They're going to get there. And it let them own their own thing and work on their own thing. And it let me kind of go, okay, they're going to get there and the oils are going to work. We're all just going through the oils, like cleansing us and working on stuff and helping us to realize things. And as we would realize stuff, we would kind of go to each other and share. And, you know, that's part of the journey of like getting better. It wasn't just like our mental, um, I mean, not our mental, it wasn't just our physical ailments at all all of us had it was also so much of our past that we were dealing with and that was um you know just a burden we all wanted to be there for each other but putting that to me i also shared with them and they realized like you know it's different and and you you are responsible for your thoughts and for trying to work on being better and i don't know that just changed our outlook and our thought and the whole process really yeah awesome my sister said to me one time she said you know it's my new norm because you you settle because you feel like this is who i am and this is what i have to experience and then suddenly she's better and she's like oh it's my new norm and then you peel another layer oh this is my new norm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> so i like to record things down because then i remember that hey i just succeeded to get rid of that you know, demon in my, you know in me and here's another trial that I've overcome now I feel stronger because I've overcome this that I didn't realize I could have but I did yeah but of course with connecting to God you've got this infinite power source and I always try to get people to hook back on to God instead of coming to me and hooking on to my energy um, you know direct into to that energy so that they can have it consistently yeah Anyone else want to share? <laughs> Cindy, are you okay there? <sighs> really proud of you, by the way, <laughs> for figuring this out. <laughs> Almost, maybe we can go on mute. Hold on, Cindy, I'll unmute you. There we are. Are you okay there? Okay. Oh, can I speak now? Yeah. Oh, I didn't think, that, the thing was red and I thought nobody could hear me. <laughs> no, it's, um, I think it's a wonderful journey. And even though you run into roadblocks, you just knock them down. 
keep going. All right. That's what I'm trying to remember to do every day. Yep. Yep. And with the oils, I'm excited to learn more about them and how they work. And I've got some good teachers and I'm looking at y'all. <laughs> Cindy, do you want to share a little bit of your story? You know, you feel like it's helped you change from where you were? Yes, it's, I've been able to let go of a lot of things about my mom and, uh, and with, and I'm and beginning to with my husband, uh, with, you know, with his uh, dementia and the way it's going. And these things are helping me to understand that I can't quite put it into words yet mm -hmm. about, about the, uh, uh, you know, his, the dementia. Mm -hmm. um, it's not cut and dry. Mm -hmm. I have a tendency to do that, figuring, all right, I did it. It's done. Well, it isn't done yet. <laughs> So it's, it's helped me clear, you know, those, and it's, I just recently noticed that um, my son, Robert, you know, who we live with, he's, he all of a sudden is in love with breathe and frankincense. <laughs> um, yeah. And then, <laughs> and then I got him to do the on guard because it helped. What if he needs to be cleared? He just doesn't know. <laughs> he just needs to, he's got to decide to work on himself as it's, it's his and that it's all all of that wrapped up together and it makes me happy mm -hmm. so um just can remember be happy and and then working with the children that's making me happier yet. so mm -hmm. it's kind of all wrapped together yeah, i'm very grateful for you uh, so you guys know cindy you know she just moved to destin recently florida recently from ohio <laughs> all right from ohio yeah yeah and um, someone else is in Ohio too. Yes, there's a rainy there. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, so um, Cindy, her, her mom just passed, and um, you know, she's moved down here to be with her son, but um, you know, her son's helping her with her husband's dementia, so she's got a pretty big load. And um, you know, we're really grateful to make friends and hit it up right away. <laughs> yes, we did. I'm grateful for you guys. <laughs> and for the for the sisters I'm meeting, you know, through the ward too, and and now on this and learning, talking on this pad is an is an amazement for me. <laughs> <laughs> right, because uh, it's challenging. <laughs> I, I was sitting here pressing the red mic, trying to get it to go away, but it never went away, and all of a sudden it did. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and I, I like you. Cindy, every time I, I see her, she has this notebook and she takes what I tell her and then she writes more about it and she, she does more discovery and she tells me all the affirmations she's been saying and, you know, I can see how she's changed within a few short months. So, very empowering mm -hmm. for her. It is. And it's sometimes it, yeah, I, had, I had to cry again today. So something <laughs> else came up. I haven't written it down yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's helping. Yeah, and I don't usually do this. I don't um, like to to dump on my friends, but you know I did this today <laughs> with the Debbie Westcott. It's awesome. Sometimes you can do that. Okay. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. So things come up. Yep. And you said when they come up, get rid of them, mm -hmm. and I did. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that amazing? You know, we have a, a, an emotional concern or something that just can't um, put our fingers on it. And then, you know, there's nothing else out there besides this that we know of that can, can help us feel this peace that quickly. You know, um, very right. excellent. Anybody else want to share? I was just going to add to that that those negative feelings or sadness that we have their energy they have a space and we just have to allow them and not judge them and get and shift them or give them a different space to go into you know and the if we ignore it then it just keeps getting shoved down so just I teach my girls now I'm like just cry just let it out just give it a place to go you know mm -hmm. you'll feel better yeah 
Yeah, that's mm-hmm. awesome. I'm really grateful that we have each other and we have our friendship because some days we really need a shoulder to cry. And I think one day at church, I was thinking, I'm good, I'm doing fine. You know, I just have to keep going. And here's Marissa. She walked up to me and then I don't know what happened. I was like, blah! <laughs> she was at the right time. I mean, just to, to uplift me. And I thought, oh, how weird was that? You know, because somebody who senses that and say, hey, you're allowed to press the button and let it out. <laughs> like, well, in public, everywhere. <laughs> but it's good. And it's a relief and you're done. Yep. Yep. That's awesome. Well, awesome call, guys. Thank you for sharing. Um, yeah. Ben's awesome with all of the girly talk here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to stop the By now, right? <laughs> so um, next week we have... Hilo Christian and uh, Family Health Solutions. So we're going to all help out with this one, okay? Jade will actually be on the airplane. Um, she's going to re- um, prepare a bunch and uh, do a recording for us, so we'll, we'll play that. Um, but um, we'll all put some... Yeah, you can bring your friends and we'll help you. Yeah, so it'll be really good. Yeah. Mm-hmm.